Welcome to book two, the second half of the year. Um, yeah, guys, so this, this, it's very shiny and I apologize for the shine. It is the fault of this plus this probably. It's a lot of shine. Anyway, um, yeah, I need to do a flip through of this, but not today. So one of the things I did want to talk about real briefly, and then I'll get this off the camera, is I printed my 2023 on white sticker paper. You can get out any white sticker paper, grab a sheet of like the full size Avery's, whatever. And I'm going to do the same thing I did before, hopefully a little better, and cover this and then cover most of the back again. But, and I don't know if I've talked about this when I did this one, when I, when you foil, if you put it in a clear cover, which I want to do because it's pretty, um, the foil will peel off if the clear cover gets hot, sticks too long. Anything toner based will do that. I've discovered this. So I got, and I'll be obnoxious for a minute here. This is clear sticker paper with an ear, like iridescent stars on it. I got a pack off of Amazon for like 15 bucks. I will link it. Um, it's nothing fancy, but it protects, it protects the foiling on the book. So nothing happens to it. This. Anyway, I'm not going to stick that right now because I can't do it on camera. And you can see I tried to color this one and it, it, I don't hate it as much. I can't stand the yellow around here. Now that that's really obnoxious. I'm going to take this out. Oh, one more thing before we, we switch over here. Let me find January. So we have July here. I'm going to paint on camera. Normally I just do like ploppy swishy paint. I'm actually thinking I'm going to try and do red, white, and blue flowers. Um, that, that might dissolve into nothing, but that's my plan. I'm going to go ahead and paint it live. Um, I'm probably going to do a voiceover for that part because I don't think I can paint and talk well. Anyway, so we're going to jump into that. Um, that is the only setup page I'm doing today. July, the first week of July start. This is, I'm filming this Friday night, June 30th. So first actual week of July starts on Monday. So like I'm still kind of in the other planner on the weekly stuff. The dailies I haven't started here. I, it's a little weird for me. So I think I'm going to end up having to like half plan or something. Anyway, let's jump into July. Oh, those are some days off notes. Um, and here we are for the voiceover. Um, so I also want to know that I, I said real time at the beginning of this. And then in editing, I decided oh, it was too, it's too long. Um, so it's at 200%. So basically, like slow enough that you, like clearly if I'm moving slow, it doesn't look like it's sped up at all. Um, but it is at 200%. So normally this took me roughly about 20 minutes. Oh no, probably not. Like maybe maybe 15 and then dry time because the cutting down of it. Yeah. So probably, sorry, working that out. Um, I'm going to start off by saying that I, I don't love this. Um, once the July is placed on it, I don't hate it, but I really struggled with just drawing or painting out flowers. Like I didn't like it, and then I was like, I need to fill in the spots because normally it's flush with color. And it just, it was rough. At the end, like part of me is like, don't don't beat yourself up too bad. Um, I had no idea what I was doing. I did not have a plan. I did not have this sketched out. You see a lot of people who do painting and art stuff videos, and they're, they're, it's sketched out. Like there's a plan. Yeah, I didn't have a plan. <laughs> at all. I was just like, okay, well, I need to fill up more space. And then I was like, that's a lot of blue. Let me do the red. Um, again, not how I intended it, but at the same time, I don't, I don't dislike it. I wish I hadn't done the red dots. I will say that much. 
Um, the other part of it was probably letting some of the blue dry a little would have been better. Same thing with going back in with some blue after the red, you know. And I did switch my pens out. I did have a blue and a red um, water brush pen so that I wasn't getting purple. Normally, you know me, I'd want purple, but but I specifically wanted it to be kind of red, white, and blue for July. So that was me. And then I started doing like the little like starburst kind of things. And I like them. I think they're a good filler. I wish I had done some other stuff. Like this is, sorry guys, this is a lot of me beating myself up. So maybe, maybe you can just relate. I will talk about the watercolors. So the blue and the red are from Michaels. And I want to say, I don't think they're Artist Loft. I think they might be Reeves. If I'm, I'm thinking maybe. I could be wrong. They could be Artist Loft. I don't think they are though. And then the um, iridescent color that I go in with later. It's not out yet. Um, I pointed to it at the beginning. That is from... Hold on, I gotta think of the name. Hydra. Hydra Color on Etsy. Um, actually, if you look at my paint palette, that whole top row and part of the bottom, any ones that are like have little holes and are kind of mushroomy, those are from Hydra Color. That whole, all of them. I have some other ones from Sp Sprout. Those are in a those are in a different palette. So I really like Hydra colors, but they tend to be shimmery, and if you're not looking for shimmery then you just want the basic colors. And those are, those were tubes I squeezed in and made um, little palettes out of. So there's that. I'm coming in here and I'm just doing like little blobs of X's and I kind of really liked the way those turned out because they almost look like little flowers and they were a good filler. And you can see that brought me in a little bit of purple. And I was like, oh, I don't hate that. So then I pulled out the red with the darker blue I started to kind of be like, oh, I don't hate this as much. So as much as I can talk about the things I didn't like, I started kind of finding a flow and I kind of liked things and just filling in. I wish I hadn't cut off the bottom, but clearly I wasn't paying attention in camera. I think I was really just kind of stressed out. Um, at one point, I thought what I'm doing on the side here looked um, Star Wars-ish, very, um, oh, is it Imperial? Like, it was very much that logo for me. I was like, okay, then. It, it got a little... I, got, I, I tried. I guess that's the, the key there is that I was trying. That was the one that started to. And then I kind of like, whoa, let's not be Star Wars. But again, with the little blops. And honestly, those, I think, worked out really great for filler. My best advice is to come in with a plan. Clearly, I didn't have a plan, and I and I really can say probably a minute and a half into doing this, I was like, I really wish I would have at least sketched out a plan, even on a different sheet of paper so that I could reference it, because I, I was a hot mess. And looking at it now, I can see it. Like, I don't know. It was just one of those things where if I had to do it over, I don't know also... I would do this again. I can tell you that I prefer big swatchy blobs of color and that's usually what I do. So I think I would do that again. This was fun to try. And this is one of those where get yourself outside the box, do outside your normal stuff. I, I get stuck and you guys know this if you watch my planning videos. I do the same thing because I like it. But sometimes you gotta go outside the box to find something new that might work better. It might be a complete failure and you might go back to the way you were and that's okay too because then you know that the way you're doing it works. But this is one of those instances where I tried it and I'm over here like, I filmed this for YouTube. What am I thinking? But then I'm like, no, you know what? I'm putting this out there because not everything has to be super beautiful to be beautiful. <laughs> um, I do love the way the iridescent looks. It doesn't show through vellum or clear sticker very well. But I think it just makes me happy in the in the meantime of it. So this cutting this down has I I'm not perfect with it because I don't want overhang. I think overhang is a pain to trim. So I'd actually rather cut it a little short. This one I cut a little too skinny. It could have been a little wider. Um, but at the same time, I'm fine with it. I 
I've I've toyed around with the idea of only like leaving a bigger border so you see the paint even better through it. I just I like the words too much. <laughs> I can't make myself do it. Okay, so when I do this, I turn the book upside down. You could do it either end, but for some reason in my brain, it needs to go on the right way. I fold the back. The, this is this is sticker paper, not vellum. Clear sticker paper. You want to try to put it on as smooth as possible. There isn't forgiveness here, so you just got to roll with it. And and fix mistakes later, like if you have to trim a little, whatever. It, it'll all work out. Um, and then I just squeegee it with my fingers, and then you can see I got a little bit of a wrinkle there that I try and like work out. But other than that, there you go. Be kind, guys.